Hi everyone, welcome back to another digital story time. My name is Miss Sarah, and this time we're gonna have a lot of fun doing books and songs all about penguins. Do you guys like penguins? I think they're so cute. So to get started, we're gonna sing hello. But before we sing hello, there's one thing you're gonna need for this video, and that is a scarf. So if you wanna pause and go find a scarf or anything you can use as a scarf if you don't have one, for example, you can use a tissue, a piece of paper towel, anything you can shake up and down, a washcloth even, whatever you have. So go ahead, pause, find something to use as your scarf, and when you're ready, come on back and we'll sing hello. All right, I'm gonna assume you found something to use as your scarf, so we're gonna sing hello. Ready? Clap your hands with me. We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. Good job. Can you pat and say hello? We pat and say hello. We pat and say hello. With our friends at story time, we pat and say hello. Good job. And one last way. How about we wave? Can you wave? We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. Good work. All right, now I want you to stand up. Stand up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our warm up song. We're gonna shake our sillies out. Can you shake them out with me? Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, 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 shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Wiggle our waggles away. Can we clap? We're gonna clap, clap, clap our crazy out. I think we're warmed up for a story now. And our first story we're gonna read is called Five Flying Penguins. Five Flying Penguins by Barbara McGrath, illustrated by Stephanie Coleman. Five little penguins sitting on the ice. The first one said, today feels very nice. The second one said, snow is in the air. And the third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, hey look, here comes a seal. Can you guys spot the seal in the water? Here he is, he's coming. And the fifth one said, uh-oh, he wants us for a meal. Oh, no. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter went penguin feet as they dove right in. Splash! Five flying penguins started to swim, swim, swim. Run right away! 
flip flap went penguin wings as they flew through the sea. Well, the first one said, come on and follow me. The second one said, we're moving very fast. And the third one said, we've lost that seal at last. The fourth one said, it's time to get some air. And the fifth one said, wait, look who's over there. Oh, the seal caught up to them. Well, honk, barked the charging seal. He just wouldn't quit. Uh oh. And then that sneaky seal said, penguins, tag, you're it. That was so silly. The end. That was such a fun story. I didn't expect the seal to be on their side and just playing tag. That's so silly. <laughs> All right, so let's grab those scarves I told you about earlier. We're going to do some songs. Do you have your scarf? Okay, so we're going to start off with popcorn kernels. Can you guys do that one with me? Ready? Up and down. Popcorn kernels. Pop. Popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good work. All right, let's do another song. This time we'll do a song about a fish. So we're going to start off and we're going to swim like a fish. Can you swim like a fishy? Good job. And it goes, slippery fish, slippery fish, swimming through the water, slippery fish. Slippery fish. And now we're going to clap. We're going to go gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, I just got eaten by a, what ate our fish? What do you think it was? Is that an octopus? Can you make an octopus laugh? Ready? An octopus, an octopus, swimming through the water. An octopus, an octopus. Uh-oh, here comes some bigger fish. It goes gulp. Gulp! Gulp! Oh no! I just got eaten by a, a really big fish. It's a tuna fish. Can you put your hands back together like a fishy? A tuna fish. A tuna fish. Swimming through the water. A tuna fish. A tuna fish. Uh oh! Gulp! 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 Oh no! I just got eaten by a what do you think to eat a big, big, big fish? What's bigger than a big, big fish? Well, it has a fin above its head and it goes like this. A great white shark. Oh, a great white shark. A great white shark swimming through the water. A great white shark. A great white shark. Uh-oh. Gulp. 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 What's big enough to eat a great white shark? Maybe a egg. Can you put your arms out as wide as you can? A humongous whale! A humongous whale, humongous whale, swimming through the water. A humongous whale, humongous whale, gulp, gulp, gulp! And this time nobody can eat the whale, he's too big, so he goes, burp! Excuse me! <laughs> that is a silly, silly song! Good singing, though. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right, my friends. We're going to put those scarves away. We are all done with them, so you can put them back wherever you found them. And instead, we're going to read another story. And this story is called Harriet Gets Carried Away. Harriet Gets Carried Away by Jessie Sima. Harriet loved costumes. She didn't save them for Halloween, or only wear them to dress up birthday parties. Harriet wore costumes all the time. She even was a dinosaur at the dentist. <laughs> That's a silly costume. 
Well, on the morning of her own dress-up birthday party, Harriet was a busy bee. We still need to pick up some snacks from the grocery store, her dad said. And lots of party hats, Harriet added. Her dad shared a look. Okay, they said, but don't get carried away. Harriet was sure she could manage that. She changed into her extra special errand running costume, straightened her bow tie, and waddled down the street through the subway. Ooh, where are they going? And into the store. Her dad seemed to have the deli co counter covered, so Harriet set on a quest for the perfect party hats. But instead, she found... Where is she going? What do you think she's going to find? Do you think she'll manage to find her party hats? Or is she going to get a little distracted? Let's see. <gasps> what? She found something else. What did she find in the freezer aisle? Are those penguins? Just like her costume. Well, Harriet forgot all about the party hats and she waddled past the checkout lines and through the city. She left the store with her new friends. She didn't leave the store without your parents, though. And out of the town. Where are we going, Harriet asked excitedly. Well, back home, of course, a penguin answered. The city is a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. Well, as the balloons floated further and further from the city, Harriet's spot floated back to her birthday party. Excuse me, said Harriet. I don't think I belong here. Well, that's okay, the penguin replied. Everyone feels like they don't fit in sometimes. Maybe you should lose the bow tie. Hmm. But Harriet didn't care about fitting in. She cared about getting back to the store. So she straightened her bow tie. And she hatched a plan. What does it look like she's doing? She's sliding across an ice cube, but it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh no! I don't think that will work. And so she tried another. She's gonna try to make a parachute and fly back home. Oh, that didn't work either. Things were not going smoothly. Well, Harriet was almost out of ideas when one emerged from the sea. Hey, said the orca, you're not a penguin. How did you know that, Harriet? Penguins don't wear bow ties, he replied. Well, Harriet realized this orca might be just be her ticket home. So she told him her tale of costumes and penguins and hot air balloons. She told him all about her family and her city and the party hat she needed to find. And when her story was finished, she said, I could really use a lift. Do you think the whale will give her a ride? Well, it just so happens I'm heading up north for a family reunion, replied the orca. I could drop you off along the way in exchange for a fancy red bow tie. And that seemed like a fair trade. And as the orca swam, Harriet daydreamed. And once Harriet could make out the city in the distance, the orca came to a halt. This is as far as I can go, he said. Hmm. So Harriet called in a favor from some friends she knew from the park. We'll take it from here, they said. How can the birds help her? What do you think they can do? <gasps> They're going to help her fly. <laughs> well, Harriet soared back into the store and headed straight for the party hats. It didn't take long to pick out the perfect ones. And she found her dad's at the deli counter, just where she had left them. Well, where'd you sneak off to, they asked. I just went to get the party hat, said Harriet. Oh, and I could use a new bow tie. Well, with her hats in hand, Harriet wobbled back through the subway, up the street. She put on her birthday party costume, straightened her party hat, and headed up 
to the room. What's she dressing up for as her birthday party costume? What kind of costume is that? <gasps> it's a lion. <laughs> the party was a great success and no one got carried away. Well, except maybe Olivia. Olivia brought all her wolves to the party. <laughs> And awesome story. I hope you really enjoyed it. Harriet was so creative. I got worried for a minute though when she left the store of all those penguins. I hope you liked it too. All right, we're actually gonna stand up this time. We're gonna do one more song. This one is a fun penguin dance. So we're gonna see if we can become penguins too. Do you think you have what it takes to be a penguin? Let's stand up and find out. Okay, I'm gonna push my chair back a little bit. Can you hold up your right flipper? And I'll just stand with our right flipper. You guys make pretty penguins! Guess you'll go! Time to begin! Hold right our right, right flipper. My right flipper! Let's take both arms. Nice penguins! Penguins, attention! Penguins, begin! Right. try it again see if you can perfect your penguin dance but if you don't want to try it again and you want to read another story I think I have one more great book for you guys and that is called five little penguins slipping on the ice so this one goes to the tune of five little monkeys jumping on the bed so it does change up the words a little bit five little penguins slipping on the ice by Steve Metzger and illustrated by Laura Bryant Five little penguins slipping on the ice. One fell down. Ouch, that's not nice. Well, the mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more penguins slipping on the ice. Four little penguins sliding near a tree. You think something's gonna happen? One fell into the ACC. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more penguins sliding near a tree. Three little penguins skating all around. Uh-oh, one flew up and then fell down. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more penguins skating all around. How many penguins are left? There's one, two, two little penguins playing on a hill. One slipped off and banged her bill. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more penguins playing on a hill. Oh no. Well, one little penguin jumping very high. Broke 
the ice and began to cry. Woo -hoo -hoo. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more penguins jumping very high. Now there's no little penguins having any fun. No little penguins, not even one. Well, the mother called the doctor and the doctor said, what is he going to say? Let those penguins have some fun. Yay. The end. That was a really awesome story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, my friends, that is all the time we have. I hope you had fun with those penguin songs and dances. So let's sing goodbye together because we have time for one more song. We have time for the goodbye song. We're going to start by clapping our hands. Ready? We clap and say goodbye. We clap and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and say goodbye. Good job. Can you pat and say goodbye? We pat and say goodbye. We pat and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we pat and say goodbye. Perfect. And one more way. You have to wave. We wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and say goodbye. Yay! Good work, everyone. I hope you've had lots of fun. And we'll see you guys next time for another story time. Bye-bye. Till then.